Hey guys and welcome, we have news about the cutting edge AI robots that Elon Musk made for his business. This video is going to give you an idea of what the future looks like if you're brave enough to adopt one of these bots. Musk's Tesla bot will free up regular people who are brave enough to adopt a robot from boring tasks. Elon Musk has previously stated that humans have to be ready to coexist with artificial intelligence. He says that accepting this is the only way we're going to be able to live in the future. Now, this is pretty eerie because the Tesla bot prototypes are going to be able to handle everything from cooking to cleaning to general maintenance. They're actually intended to eliminate boring tasks and become a commonplace item in most homes. Now, Musk is well known for making very ambitious predictions about when his technology is going to be available. He spent years postponing the time when Tesla self-driving cars were going to completely replace human drivers. Now, with that in mind, there has been an announcement in 2022 that these butler bots are definitely evidence that humanity is progressing at a rate that's just beyond our control. Especially when you consider the fact that just 20 years ago, we were still sending faxes and typing on rudimentary Nokia number pads. Now it turns out we might actually be the fax machines. See, Tesla bots are initially intended to take the place of people in monotonous, dangerous, and repetitive tasks. However, Elon Musk wrote an essay that was published in China Cyberspace Magazine, essentially saying that the goal of these robots is to provide services to millions of households like cooking, mowing the lawn, and looking after the elderly. Now Musk has named this robot Optimus. Yes, like the Transformers movie. Optimus is equipped with sensors and chips that Tesla uses for their autopilot software, which has drawn a lot of criticism from federal authorities and lawmakers. Optimus has been unveiled to the world through a video that shows Optimus walking on a flat surface and performing a simple manual task like carrying and lifting. According to robotics experts, the demonstration actually wasn't that impressive, but we hope it's going to open the door to bigger and better things. According to Musk, the robot is able to lift 68 kilograms, carry 20.4 kilograms, and run at a speed of 5 miles per hour or 8 kilometers per hour. Now, I'm still unsure about how to feel on this next part because Elon Musk said that they specifically made the robots so that people can escape them and defeat them. So if I were you, I would click the like button and leave a comment praising the AI gods, that way the algorithm can show Tesla bots that we're friendly and they shouldn't try to defeat us. If you're watching this in 2023, then you're still safe, for now. See, the capacity to mass produce this amount of robots and the evolution of intelligent robots are both necessary for this safety measure to make a difference. If you're watching this in 2024, however, we're not quite sure, because AI is supposed to be able to adapt and learn at extremely fast rates. It's expected that once we have full self-driving cars, then artificial intelligence is going to be successfully implemented into them. These humanoid robots are going to have a wider range of applications than just cars. This is because Elon Musk has compared the potential power of an all-pervasive AI to that of a god. He claims that if the company can manage mass manufacturing, the Tesla bot prototype will be available by the end of the year. Tesla is planning to unveil the first humanoid robot prototype this year. Their emphasis is on enhancing its intelligence and resolving the issue of large-scale production. Elon Musk added that these robots are going to be more useful over time as the production scales up and costs decline. He even went as far as to say that a household robot could eventually cost less than a car. This makes sense because it's predicted that with the power of robots, we can create an era of extreme abundance of products and services. This will lead to a world where everyone can enjoy a life of abundance. In 10 years, you're going to see people buying their parents a robot for their birthday. But why would we want humanoid robots? Most of the robots in use today don't look like humans at all. Instead, these devices are created for specific tasks, such as industrial robots and robot vacuum cleaners. So why would you want a human-shaped one? The easiest response to that is that they would be able to function in settings made for humans. Opposed to industrial robots, they can move around and communicate with people. They might even be able to navigate rough terrain or climb stairs unlike your robot vacuum cleaner. 
While artificial humans are going to be very appealing to innovators and science fiction authors, they're actually going to have some pretty practical benefits. According to the Tesla presentation, Optimus is a long way from being able to interact with people or operate in social settings. The capabilities of the robot shown fall short of the modern day humanoid robotics. For example, Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot is able to perform flips and other acrobatic maneuvers while walking outside. Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot has some impressive capabilities. Even the commercially available Digit from Agility Robotics is significantly more capable than what we saw from Optimus. Atlas is still an experimental technology. Digit is able to move around on various terrains, avoid obstacles, and adjust itself after being knocked. It's even able to easily pick stuff up and put it down. In other words, a robot being able to walk on its own two feet really isn't that impressive anymore. In fact, using open source software, you, watching this video right now, are able to build a robot for yourself. One thing that has a lot of people baffled is how Optimus is going to be able to relate to people. This is going to be crucial for any robot that operates in a setting where people are present, both for interacting with people and for fundamental safety. Ideally, these robots are going to be able to perform easy tasks like passing an object to a human, but this can actually be quite difficult for a robot to do. Humanoid robots have previously been built and sold by other companies, including Honda's Asimo and SoftBank's Pepper. However, they haven't taken off yet. The recently announced Amazon Astro robot might succeed in this, but it also might follow in the footsteps of its predecessors. Meanwhile, the public is reasonably skeptical of robots. To date, the only widely adopted household robots are those like Roomba vacuum cleaners. These have been around since 2002. To be successful and earn its price, a humanoid robot must be able to perform a task that humans are incapable of. The use case for Optimus is still not entirely evident at this point. However, some people have faith in something like the Optimus Project despite these objections. It's still very early in the process, and the presentation seemed to be more focused on hiring new employees than anything. Tesla can easily tackle the issue with its considerable resources. If development proceeds to that point, we're confident that it's capable of mass-producing robots. Musk's skill at garnering attention could potentially be advantageous for the project in terms of luring talent and generating customer interest. Moving fast is challenging in the world of robotics. I hope Optimus is successful because it'll further robotics research and provide something wonderful that we can use, just as long as the safety feature works. Alright guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed watching this, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more.